fortune. So how come you know so much about the Riding Shogun? Hmm? You mean me? Hmm, perhaps it's because I'm the Electro Archon's servant. What? Like Devalin is to Barbados? Huh. Never would have guessed by looking at you. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form. In your dreams. Huh. More curious than my appearance is the fact that she and I don't see each other anymore, wouldn't you say? A nation to last for all eternity is a dream that she and I both share. Hmm. But I don't think that's the same thing as complete stasis. At some point, she started going down a path that became increasingly difficult for me to join her on. You know, A never said goodbye to me before she stepped into the plane of Euthymia. Perhaps it's just my wishful thinking, but I think she did this deliberately as her way of keeping our friendship eternal. By neither saying goodbye nor seeing me again, our relationship will remain forever how it was. In her mind, at least. Since we've embarked on two very different paths to eternity, I can either continue to maintain the status quo or do whatever it takes to bring her back on track, regardless of the cost. I have chosen the latter because... If stubbornly isolating herself in the plane of Euthymia is her idea of eternity, then my duty as her eternal servant is to drag her back out of her own head and into the real world. Aw, Miko, you sound like a really great friend. <laughs> I'm only telling you this so you can properly understand my plan. Could you possibly spare the sentimentality for the time being? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. Time for anti-Raiden Shogun training phase two. There's a part two? <laughs> <laughs>